Hey there, it's Harry from Step Day Barbecue. I am so excited tonight to be in Perth. We are going to enjoy an evening dining at Nobu's restaurant. I so happen to have the executive chef, Leif Huru, in my class on Sunday, and I taught him everything to do about American style barbecue. So tonight he's going to impress us with all of his specialties at his restaurant, the signature Nobu in Perth, Australia. Leaf is one of the most uh, trusted protégés of Nobu Matsuhisa, who started his first restaurant in Beverly Hills in 1987. I'm so excited to now be able to try the Perth Nobu, and uh, Leaf is going to be personally cooking all of the special omakase items tonight. Can't wait to try all of Leaf's absolutely magical creations. We have our own little private room for our event here. <laughs> We're about to get started and uh, I guess everybody's doing the Instagram shot of this uh, humongo truffle. It's another thousand yeah. dollar truffle. This is how many, how many grams is this? Uh, 170. Yeah. 170. And what's the region is from again? Manjimau. And this is a uh, truffle shaver and he's got a super sharp razor blade for a micro, micro thin slice. So he's gonna show us how he microplanes uh, truffles. <laughs> Fresh oysters. Now we have salsa on the side. We have a Snobu special golden kiwi salsa. This one here on the edge with the spring onion is a Maui onion salsa. In the middle is a Nobu signature salsa topped with parsley. But when you finish, you want to have a mountain peach as a palate cleanser. Mm. Try the uh, oyster. Super briny, super fresh. The flavor of the ocean is bursting in your mouth. We're finish it with a peach. I say uh, chaser. Mm. Good. Salmon sashimi with nashi pear and uh, truffles. So the silkiness of the salmon with the texture of the pear gives a good contrast. This is octopus teradino. This is another signature noble really item. That was one of the very first things I tried to make from his cookbook. Just tender. A nice hit of a yuzu. Yeah, right. Super fresh octopus. This one's your abalone, seared in the sesame olive oil. We call it new style abalone sashimi. Nice with a topped off shape. Okay. Wow, beautiful. Look at that. Super delicious, briny, very crunchy, raw abalone. This is the uh, famous toro. toro, which is the tuna belly with a little bit of caviar, fried leeks, and a sauce. I think they call this their new style because they torch it. And this has got the, the chocolate miso. Totally creative, right? Chocolate miso. Who would imagine to do chocolate miso? The toro is actually melt your mouth. The crispiness of the leeks. And then the chocolate miso, slightly sweet, something salty. Just a faint hint of chocolate. Tiny little hint. One bite wonder of these tacos, avocado cream, and a little bit of uh, ikura, salmon eggs. Absolutely gorgeous here. Snow crab tacos. Here we go. Texture is amazing. Super crunchy, right? And then the wonderful sweetness of the snow crab with a little bit of wasabi. Excellent. Ready to try the pork tacos. A little mustardy aioli, pork, and the crunch of the shell. It's a beautiful symphony of flavors. Excellent. This one here is your crispy rice, ocean trout, aguada chili, like a Peruvian chili jelly, topped off with a soy, chili, coriander, and lemon, and smoked with a cherry blossom and cedar wood. I had my beautiful ocean trout with a light hint of smoke. Fantastic. This one here is another house creation. Similar, we have the crispy rice with an unagi, freshwater eel, foie gras. You just want to try with that house unagi barbecue sauce. Oh, wow. the sweetness, balance, oiliness, and the unctuousness of the foie gras. See that flavor with the unagi and unagi sauce. Absolutely delicious. Wish you could try this. It's one of the Nobu Perth house creations. We were featured at the Taste of Perth food festivals. Barbecue carpaccio done with a Peruvian chili spice. Poached quail egg. The salt brush tempura for a crunch. Well, the egg burst in your mouth. The yawagi is so smooth and silky. Like hint of acid in there. Absolutely amazing. Alaskan king crab. Over here you have the claw done tempura style watermelon garnish and a sweet vinaigrette. Over here is the Peruvian style ceviche. And over here it's done with a wood oven, house creation, chichimi, Japanese spiced butter. 
start with the ceviche as well because it's really mild. And then what is the ceviche? Is it some kind of fish? No, that's just so that's a crab that's just basically been cooked in lime. Oh, God. So we may be halfway through. I would have gone oh into my God. I'll be back there as your sea bass Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. There we are. Okay. Super tender, delicious, really sweet fish. Chef Lee is going to be uh, showing me a little tour of the kitchen here. It's going to be super fun to see his kitchen. All the magic happens here. Here's the whole kitchen where you have the wood fire oven, the grill, grill. so oh. tasty. Okay. In the back, you have tempura section, you tempura. have a salad section. Salad section. You have a pastry section right here. Pastry section right here. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. It's such a really tiny kitchen that you can produce so much food. Yeah, yeah. Leif was uh, kind enough to come and join our class yesterday. Yeah. Well, we we got a barbecue class for six hours. We cook about almost 30 items. Today, uh, he gets to show off what he can do, <laughs> especially his crew. I taught him everything I know, so he knows how to cook first place USA brisket and chicken. So ask him how it's done, and he can make it for his staff. We're assembling one of the a platter, 1.7 kilo southern rock lobster. That is a used truffle butter. Used truffle butter. Wow, that's like ginormous size. Of, that's a lot of truffle butter, right? On one half uh, shell. Here. So we're doing a lobster, we're doing one, two, three, five ways for you. So this uh, is uh, just seared with uh, olive oil, olive sesame oil. oil. Uh -huh. You're getting some raw that you're going to cook yourself. On a uh, stone. Himalayan, sesame oil, ponsu, and it's Peruvian barbecue sauce. Anticucho. Right, you get yes. one with a dry miso. You get some tempura. Tempura? Very spicy sauce. So they're cooking it up. So oh, okay, know. tempura. <laughs> Truffles melted. Wow, that's, that's crazy good. Look at that. Truffle butter. So you have that big table out there you're serving? They're having uh, two and a half kilo wagyu. Song you're gonna be famous now. <laughs> yep, we'll put you on the internet now. I put my YouTube channel. My name is Song. Song. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the final dish, Bye. which is absolutely amazing. Lobster five ways, including a Himalayan salt block. And the last addition is a lobster with truffle butter. And it must be uh, like a half pound of truffle butter in it. It looks absolutely amazing. And uh, here's a salt block here. 500 degrees is really really hot. His crew has assembled a fantastic masterpiece right here. This is a truly a, a, a work of a master. All right, here we go. sesame macaron ice cream sandwich. Now you're all getting a knife, you want to cut, cut that a little bit and then try it with a chocolate ganache and apricot gel. This recipe comes from Nobu in Miami. Alright, so this one's a miso cappuccino dessert souffle. You're going to grab your small spoon and go bang to the bottom to mix all four flavours when you take a bite. This one's your cheesecake, passion fruit sorbet and raspberry, have them all together. This one's your chocolate fondant, green tea ice cream, have them together. This one's from Nobu Miami, this recipe. Oh sorry, Nobu Dubai. Nobu Dubai. Dubai. This one's a green tea and white chocolate lava cake. Use your citrus ice cream and cherry puree. Have them all together. Enjoy. All right, we're leaving Nobu now and uh, it's been about four and a half hours later. That was the most fantastic meal that we ever had. I don't know, there must be 40 over items that we ate. And uh, Chef Leaf is such a gracious host. And everybody is having a food coma now. But it is a great restaurant, great trip, great people, great time at Nobu, Perth, Australia.